So the title is um, A Picture's Worth a Thousand Words. Um, that's based on the old uh, English idiom that a complex idea or complex thought can be conveyed in a simple picture. And um, I chose that because I'm going to be talking about a technique that is pictorial based. And it's called metaphor elicitation. And the reason I got into using it, and I, you know, I've used other things, but um, I wanted to share this with you today because I feel that it increases the validity of our data. We think automatically, we think associatively, and we think metaphorically. So let me ask you this. Um, how many of you have eaten more than you think you should have in the past six months? <laughs> and how many of you drank more? Than, and I just thought that what I would do in terms of trying to get you to understand what I'm saying is to try to relate it to some things that we in market research are maybe a little more familiar with. So of course I'm using a metaphor here. It's, a, it's an iceberg metaphor. And so at the top of our iceberg, we have the behavior, what we see and hear. What was I seeing? What was I hearing in my focus groups? But below that, you know, below there, you've got all the things that were really driving behavior. Okay, so this is kind of, hopefully, kind of a familiar way of looking at the consumer. And just what I'm suggesting is just another way to do it, which is to look at it with metaphors. Now what I'm going to do, it's kind of like a Rorschach test. I'm going to show you a bunch of images. I have 10 slides, and each of the slides have a whole bunch of little images. So I want you to pick, not which slide, not one out of 10, I want you to pick which little image resonates with you when you think or feel about having death. I noticed the spider web at the very beginning, uh, because uh, my perspective is as someone who is a future student who will be going to the dead future, and I see that dead as a spider web that I'm going to have to untangle myself from, because, I mean, I guess that... So you're projecting that this is... Yeah, I see it as like something that is in front of me that I have to run into, that I will have to overcome lest I be. And you're projecting properly into the future because <laughs> the person felt that, that he was in the spider web waiting to be eaten by death. 